I woke up this morning and my alternative account was banned. I went to log in. It's like, oh, your login is expired. I'm like, mm, I know what's happening. So basically, um, I got banned for putting up a particular video, right? And this is the video. I'm going to play it on here. Now, just for pretext, you know, if you're on YouTube and it's completely silent for 38 seconds, uh, it's because YouTube, you know, doesn't like the song. Like, this, you know, some songs are copyrighted, whatever. But I'll, it'll be muted. But uh, let's watch. So yeah, I posted that on my TikTok, uh, on my alt account, uh, and then I wanted to play that music because I just found it like off-putting, and like so is the situation with the two of them. So I posted that, right? So that's what I put up, and this is what prompted my ban. Because if you post the pic, the, the images of her kissing him, you get banned. Um, <clears throat> But, you know, the person who actually did it doesn't. Now, the reason I posted it is actually because of a video she removed. This is what I was talking about. This is the video that pissed me off so much that I made my video that got me banned. Because she's bragging about it. Give counsel every five to seven business day. She finds a way to fuck up every different way. She dated Jake. She dated Jake? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we change the beat? This ain't a race. Tony Lopez caught a case. It's like... No, girl, this is not a joke. We're not laughing with you. You literally made out with a 13-year-old who looks True. like a six-year-old and you're nine. <laughs> this isn't funny. So, yeah, that's basically my reaction. I got pissed off and I was like, fuck it. I'm going to make a video and I'm going to put up what she did. And then they banned me. This is the video. Because she's like laughing and bra like laughing about it. It's not funny. It's gross. Like, she's going to have such a profound impact on that 13-year-old kid's life. She set him up to like to be with to want to be with her forever. It's gross. Um, I swear I live. Thank God. But like, it's crazy because I don't know when she removed it. But I like sent the very nasty email to TikTok this morning about how she's like bragging about uh, basically fucking you know getting away with what she got away with, and then it's gone now when I see it. So whatever. But like, basically, it's a culmination of this, which is like uh, you know oh me coming back to TikTok after I get canceled for the hundredth time, bragging about it. And then she had another video that's here. I should have saved it, and I didn't. But it was basically somebody making a joke out of the fact that she um, <clears throat> kissed that guy. And I'm like, Jesus. And she was laughing at it. And it's like, Jesus, like you really don't understand or give a shit about what you did wrong, right? It's fucking crazy. Because the thing is, is like the relationship with this guy, this, her, 19, having a best friendship with a 13-year-old, inappropriate instantly holding hands and kissing and cuddling inappropriate right she's literally grooming a 13 year old and like she doesn't even understand and her parents don't give a fuck her mom i have a video on it you can go look on the youtube her mom doesn't even fucking care her mom's like they're just best friend like that's not what best friends do like what the fuck and so myself freak the gemini logan with an f uh, lovely maggot uh we love you little yeezy all these tiktokers getting pulled down for putting the video up and it's crazy how like tiktok is actively more concerned with maintaining her public image than doing the right thing and like it's not even like they're telling her like yo you need to chill the fuck out and stop talking about the situation no she's making it worse see if she didn't talk about it it would be piss it would piss people off and would be gross but she's bragging about it she's bragging about it and like she doesn't care she's not apologetic at all like this is a situation where you really can't be apologetic the fact that i'm even saying oh if she was apologetic making this reference where it could be a little forgiven is crazy because think about it if it was a 19 year old boy and a 13 year old girl we wouldn't be having this conversation the guy would be pure predator we wouldn't be giving him any benefit of the doubt <clears throat> but socially even here subtextually i'm giving her a benefit of the doubt which i don't want to be doing so you see how there's like this is this is i mean this is her privilege as a woman 
Honestly, and I'm not sitting here trying to make this like whole like anti male narrative. The point is, is that there are double standards, and this double standard favors women. And that is, when you are a predator as a woman, you get away with it 100. percent You know, even Tony Lopez, whether you and I've talked about it very much in depth, where it's like I feel like it's more of a fine line gray area. But even either way, like no one's getting punished for talking about him, but they are for talking about her. You understand what I'm saying? It's rather bizarre. <clears throat> Okay, he's not 10, he's 13. I looked into it. All right. Now, one of my followers just uh, messaged me with something this very, very interesting. Hopefully, it doesn't get removed. But this is apparently her talking about it um, on her live. That's why when it was hap happening, we both told each other that it was wrong and that we needed to stop. Now, right there, just so you know, if you if you or your daughter or your son or anybody, whether they're the 13-year-old or the 19-year-old in a relationship, you can't just stop being friends. Or rather, you can't just stop doing it. You can't just stop kissing and holding hands. You need to just kill the relationship. The, there, there never should have been a 13 and 19-year-old best friend ever. It doesn't even make sense. That's not even, that's not even practical. That's disgusting. That shouldn't even exist. Right? But moving forward... Like, you just go, okay, we're not friends anymore because it wouldn't cross the line. So, like, she's not even doing the right thing, partially because of her parents are dumb as shit. This is really hard to talk about considering so many people hate me right now for this. And she's not even apologizing. And I don't blame you, but... Yeah, yeah but again, yes, you like, do. None of this was meant to be on social media in the first place. So, like, you hear with that? That's what she said. So, here, listen to what she said. What she said was, hey, I understand why you don't like me, but then also, this was never supposed to be public, so it should be okay. Let that sink in a little bit, right? That her argument is this should have never gotten out. Could you imagine if a third, like a 19 year old boy, you know, groomed a 13 year old girl and said, guys, it's not a big deal because this never should have became public. To me, that suggests that she always knew it was wrong. So I understand it wasn't meant to be leaked, but like you don't go, guys, come on, take it easy. This was never supposed to be leaked. And to the person who leaked it, good for you. Um, I hope you got what you wanted out of the situation. No, I don't know what that person's motivation was, but what I want out of the situa situation is never even associate with this kid ever again and to be like, sorry, I messed up. And even that isn't really enough because, again, if the roles were reversed, the other the guy would be getting completely destroyed. But, like, Jesus, she doesn't even care. She's not even sorry. Listen, there are people who tried to cover up their shady past and they apologize when it gets outed because they're genuinely apologetic and they know they fucked up. But she's not even apologetic. She doesn't care. She's blaming the person for outing her rather than taking responsibility. And you know what? <clears throat> she she said that this happened such a like a while ago, and that they stopped the engagement. Like they're engaging as of like a relationship, but they never did. They still were hanging out. You have to not hang out anymore. She made a video with him less than a week ago. All right, it's it's weird. I brought up in the other video, but it's like, oh, it's gone now. Look, they, she removed it. Oh no, she didn't. Here it is. I'm not gonna play the song, but it's the, like you can't be friends. You guys cannot be friends. This doesn't work. You cannot be friends with the third. You're 19 and he's 13. You have to stop. Because I know that I have a thought of who it was. That's great. Who is it? I'd like to give them. I'd like to have them on my podcast. Um, she doesn't deserve a, a platform. I have. Oh. <laughs> Why, you hear what she just said? She said that the person who outed her for her grooming behavior doesn't deserve a platform. Do you, did you hear that? Is that not fucking out of control? The person who outed her for being a groomer, that person doesn't deserve their platform. I've been on social media for four fucking years. Whoa, you've been on social media since you're 15 and you don't understand the negative impacts of grooming. Weird. And let me just tell you something. What I do in my life away from social media uh -huh. is not anyone's business. She just said that her private life is no one's business. Again, imagine a 19-year-old boy 
groomed a 13 year old girl and said, uh, my private life is none of your business. This isn't private life. Okay, you committing a crime in private doesn't mean that it's you can't arrest somebody for the crime. What? 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 Do you hear this? Is this three parts? And does not mean I don't deserve to have a platform. Honestly, I don't think you deserve to have a platform, but you're not even apologetic. So we can't even be like, okay, you're apologetic. You don't even care. You're trying to gaslight people. I worked hard for it, and that's... You didn't work hard. By the way, by the way, I want you guys to understand. If you're on social media and you get famous, you didn't work hard for shit, okay? I didn't work hard. I started making fun of people and like have blah, 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 whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not necess- it's not really hard work. I worked hard before. It ain't, this isn't hard. This is enjoyable. And like, it's worth the emotional and uh, physical investment. You're 19 starting the account at 15. You've never worked hard in your life. You don't know what it means to work for a soul-sucking company where you don't really get paid a, a wage that you deserve, that you constantly get shit on, having your benefits and entitlements that you're supposed to be protected by removed. A lot of people do. Even 19-year-olds understand hard work, but not you. I hate the hard work argument, and even I didn't work that hard. Apparently, there's three videos. And that's why, when it was happening... So wait, which one did we just watch? Which one did I just watch? <laughs> no, that's not what I was watching. Uh, was it this one? And that's why, when it was happening, we both told each other that it was wrong and that we needed to stop. Okay, we just watched I guess there's multiple parts. Had. Nothing was given to me. <laughs> now we're getting into I'm hard working bullshit. Just stop. You young kids that think social media is hard are pathetic. Honestly, man, get a get a real job. Go fucking work for real, man. Go go get a real fucking job. Stop telling people that it's like hard work. Like I work seven days a week and like I, I and then like you know I bank out a good amount and I don't even call this hard work. I, this is look, this is what I get to do. She had what's the hard work? She has to practice a dance that's like 15 seconds long? She has to uh, have inappropriate relationships with 13-year-olds? Like, come on. Come on. Even I'm not the hardest worker in the world. And I'm a fucking Eagle Scout that worked uh, like a career job for 10 and a half years. Uh, there are times where I'd work 60 hours a week. All right, There's times where I went to school while working a full-time job. And I didn't go, oh, my life is so hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, give me a fucking break. I mean, Jesus. I worked for that. I worked for my colleagues. <laughs> I worked for my legs. I worked for my supporters. Oh, my it's God. I to work for that. Oh, my goodness. And that excuse, you know what? I don't care if you're the hardest working person in the world that perpetuates the most human and technological advancement that history has ever seen. If you groom children, you should be apologetic at the very least, no? And that's me giving her a lot of the benefit of the doubt. And I still do every single day. Oh, God. Because social media makes me happy. Oh, oh, okay. So you work really hard every single day? I crap and tell my supporters. That's an interesting uh, take. Make me happy. That's an interesting take to have. Hold on. Let's see. So, like, Zoe Laverne. Uh, let's see. So, she works hard every day. This video is at 24 hours old. Okay. Uh, this video is okay. So this is a day ago. Two, okay, so she made five, six, so six videos in a day. So she made at most six minutes worth of videos. Um, and yesterday, that's the amount of work that she did that she works hard on. I don't know what else Zoe Laverne does, but uh, you're lazy and do almost nothing. This is you're doing absolutely nothing. You could fart into the camera and get uh, four million views. So like, I don't know what you think you're talking about. I don't care if you don't like me. Because I still have my supporters. They're there are a lot of people that I don't particularly care for, but I still have a level of respect for them because they don't groom kids. Do you get it? For me. I still have them there. And I'm not trying to come off as a bitch at all. No, but you're, you're trying to come off as a kid who has no responsibility for yourself. And it's because you have a shitty mother. But none of you understand how toxic this app is. <laughs> We don't think that we understand how... Do you hear the irony that she's saying we don't understand the toxicity of this app? When we're getting banned for saying, hey, this is wrong. People, good people, are like, hey, 
what Zoe did was wrong, and we're really disgusted that she's taking pride in it, and she's joking about it, and we're getting banned, and you're saying it's toxic. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine that one? Could you really imagine that, guys? That's a tough one. And I know a lot of you do. This app is literally such a toxic place. Instagram right now is treating me better than TikTok. Yeah, they're also scrubbing all those videos off. Also, who gives a shit? Leave. Which is like, let's be honest here. I'm gonna be. Let's be honest here, guys. There's a lot of Zoe stands on TikTok, but if she left the app, somebody else would take her place. Like, if you, you guess, so you guys understand, everybody goes on TikTok for a specific amount of time every day. So let's say all those kids that love Zoe go on TikTok, right? They're they're getting a couple videos a day. If they don't come up in her feed, simply put, somebody else will have. There will be less time for Zoe and more priority for other creators for them to pop into the light. Which means other smaller creators might actually have a chance to go push to the top. She's a replaceable nobody. Like she doesn't even provide anything unique. Like, honestly, whatsoever, in any capacity, these dancing, attractive, which, by the way, no offense, I mean, I'm not attractive, but whatever, these dancing, um, you know, attractive people on TikTok who just do almost nothing and they garner views, like, literally, they're replaceable. You're a dime a dozen. You're a nobody. There's nobody, like, anybody could replace you. There's a hundred other girls that are 19 solid 6 out of 10s with caked makeup on their face that know how to dance better than you that are ready to take your place. So, like, you're not even, like, interesting. Like, you're a nobody. And you act like you're a somebody. This is the problem because you have two types of people who are famous, right? You have people who are famous like this that are completely untalented nobodies. And then you have people who actually have a legitimate talent or skill or some kind of ability that they're generally irreplaceable, right? They got a mixture of talent, charisma, and that's how they get onto the platforms or any platform. You're the first one, <clears throat> okay? You're the first one. You're not the second one. Okay. In fact, I don't like think that there's really any big TikTokers who actually do something unique, right? You got the, you know who would be a better replacement for of you, Zoe, a magic TikToker, because at least that shit's pretty cool, right? I mean, at least they have a skill. They have a skill. It's magic. I would rather see a magical TikToker cutting ropes and putting them back together. They have a talent that other people can't do. You don't. Your only talent is not taking accountability for being a groomer. Which is really sad. Because I love TikTok, but oh, like so sad. This is just pathetic. It's because it's so, so pathetic. many younger kids are allowed <laughs> to be on the app, and they like to put their opinions out on it. You're a younger kid that was. You started when you were 15. You were a younger kid on the app. <laughs> Do you see the irony here? She's giving TikTok TikTok shit because younger kids are on the app and they get to put their opinion out there. She started when she was 15. If younger kids couldn't be on the app, she wouldn't be on the app. Do you understand, like, these levels of cognitive dissonance? And treat people like crap that I had. Well, you kind of did that, too, by emotionally manipulating a kid. Like crap and tell people to kill themselves and tell people that they're not worth living because of their actions and their choices in life that has nothing to do with you and that is not involved with you at all. Uh, listen, first of all, nobody deserves to be told that. But, like, do you not understand that you did something really terrible? Like, you don't, you still don't get it, right? You still don't get it because you wouldn't be playing victim if you got it. And that is just the truth. I think a lot of you younger kids know. She's a younger kid. She's 19. I'm 30 years old. All right. Until you guys hit 30, you don't get to say younger kids, okay? You're a kid that t that was inappropriate with another kid that's even younger than you. You don't get to go, I have... You're not even mature. You know what's crazy? She's in, technically an adult, but not only is she a young, a young adult, but she's living in a space for children. You have to understand that, right? She's never left her child's space. She's the same person she was when she was 15. She never got introduced into a new environment. She's still not only literally a child, like a 19-year-old or young adult, but she's still actually mentally... So she's just a young adult with a mentality of a child. Do you understand that?
Okay, if you're an 18 year old and you go from high school to college and you don't work, you're going to have more of a childish mindset than an 18 year old who gets out and goes into the workforce. Because you're once you're an 18, you go into the workforce. Workforce is an, is an adult environment where you have to mix with other adults and you have to learn to grow the fuck up. She's still a kid in her mind. It's just so stupid that your parents have taught you since you were younger. Even you, some of you teenagers, like a. Her, her mom taught her it was okay to kiss 13-year-olds. The mom was literally defending her. A bunch of, like, my old friends that, like, I stopped talking are to. You guys are you serious? That they weren't true people are trying to get situation by dragging me and posting about it. It's no one's business. You know what's so funny about the whole clout for dragging her? People are getting banned. So th this is the problem. See, this is the TikTok realm that I come from, where like we try to talk about real shit and we get shadow banned and literally banned. You want to know one of the biggest reasons my priority is so low is because of this. Because this shit fucks me up. Every single time we talk about some fucking piece of shit on the app, it bogs down my priority. Okay? I get fucking banned. I get shadow banned. Like, I had a video with, like, two, two and a half million views last week. And then immediately I got shadow banned for talking about this. And it's like, what the fuck? And then you're going to sit here and bitch about it? About how, like, people just want clout. I don't want clout from you. I wish you never existed. But here I am. It's my responsibility to do it. Because it's like, that's the what I've decided to do with my career. It's not your place to put uh, yourself out on it. It's uh, my mistake. What? It was my choice. Uh, yes. It was your mistake and choice, and you didn't own up to it. That's yes, the it problem. Was wrong, and yes, no, I realized you don't. It. No, you don't realize it. Because if you didn't, re if you realize it, you wouldn't be blaming the person who outed and I you. I stopped it. No, you didn't. You're but, still friends. You can't stop it without... You have to not be friends. He's bound to you now, emotionally. You have to stop being friends. There's no reason to put it out more <sighs> and make the situation something that it's not. Like, crap. Did my fucking shit crash? What are the odds? Oh, did I crash? Oh, I'm still good. No, I crashed. Oh, that was rough. How funny is that? I get fucking... Do you guys see that? I got fucking... Oh, I'm back. That's crazy. Oh, wait. No, there. I'm still... I'm still fucking... I'm having issues on, on Twitch. You see how fucking crazy this shit is? We're kind of back, but not really. Holy shit. This is the fucking problem, dude. Every single time I talk about some sensitive topic, all of a sudden, something happens and I get fucking nay-nayed. There we go. Hopefully that makes it better. I think we're back. I think we're back, guys. Ugh. Okay. Anyway. Rather abrupt. Huh? That should be better. Okay. We're, we're good. We're good. All right. There we go. Well, you guys get where we're coming from. That We pretty much ended the segment. But what a disgusting young girl, man. Honestly, what a disgusting girl. Crap and tell people to What a loser. You're a fucking loser, Zoe. <laughs> this is such a loser. They're they're dossing me, guys. They're dossing me. Is that how funny is that? Um Yeah, man. I don't know. It's just disgusting. So that's it for Zoe. Uh, let me so play much, some guys to all my Patreons and a special shout out to my Papa XL Patreons. Without all of you guys, I would just be some fat dude screaming into a microphone. So thank you so much, guys. Mwah, I love you all. I want Papa Gut to pee on my face, but just as a friend, there's nothing weird about that. I want him to pee on my face. <laughs>